Ken, you're with us here on Aspa. Now, when you're doing up your home, it can be one of the most boring tasks ever, but if you really enjoy it, you can put everything you've got into it. Absolutely. It's all about personalizing the space, setting the mood, giving it character, and also, of course, a sense of identity. That's right. A stamp of individuality is so important when you're doing up your home, and there are ways of doing it. There are designers who will help you do that, uh, give a little twist to your sobriety. And we've actually tracked down some of these new designers uh, that do just that. Here are some incredibly out-of-the-box ideas for your home. There's much that makes your home, home. The interiors, that little bar, the furniture in your living area, down to the little nooks that speak volumes of your personality. But what's a home with a personality that doesn't have a bit of a twist? From a handcart sourced from Mumbai's infamous Chor Bazaar to the design of a toilet paper called Cheer Haran. Divya Thakur is the creative force behind Design Temple, which to her is an urban design house for a thinking man. Design Temple is talking to an audience that is young, that is young at heart, young at the, in, in the mind, and I say this with my grey hair. So, um, is, is, is young, has an approach, is comfortable about being Indian, and this is not someone who is who is not aware of quality or not aware of design. Talking to people who do understand, they have an understanding of what is good or bad. To see whether I like it or I don't. I'm going to buy it because it, it talks to me or it speaks about me or says something about my personality or relates to me. It boils down to individual taste. The Animania line for one brings together personalized diaries, greeting cards and mirrors. Like this limited edition piece worth 3 lakh rupees. Also raising a toast to the quirky Indian is happily unmarried. From this ashtray to this beer mug, even an online gift voucher that vows to recharge your relationship. Rahul Anand says it's a trendy business to be in. Design is not just for the sake of design, you know, it is a sort of a communication. And, and that's happening all across, not just Delhi, Mumbai, Pune or, you know, it's, it's happening, I would say, even in Gorakhpur, you know, even in places like Coimbatore. So it's, it's gone to a second level cities as such and it's, it's going to go even more. You know? So what I see right now is happening is, is that there are a lot of people who are young, restless and they want to do something fun. Uh, in your face expression is pretty much part of it. You know, when we used to shy away from, from saying things which were a little embarrassing or whatever, but now it's not the case, you know, you, you say it because it's way of life. This is sort of an iconic product again. It's, it's actually a set of four teacups and uh, you know, uh, it's called one two cha cha cha. Everyone has this own unique thing of you know, how much sugar they want in their tea. Uh, some, some, some people actually prefer just one teaspoon of sugar, some maybe two. Uh, there are some people who don't even want any, you know, even uh, any, any, any sugar at all in their tea. So we've just taken that uh, and, and created a product uh, called One to Cha Cha Cha, where uh, it says Do Chini, Ter Chini, Ek Chini and No Chini. With an annual turnover in the region of 5 crore rupees, clearly the business of being funky is finding takers and the ones setting the trend are raising the quirky quotient every passing day.
you know, Vikram, quirky ideas like that can also be great conversation starters when you have people over. Absolutely. But with that, it's going to be a wrap of this edition of Aspa. Thanks indeed for joining us. Bye for now.